Guys, and this next story, it's going to take us out to Oak Cliff. It's a unique place for men and women, one that serves dual purposes. Oftentimes you leave with a new look, but almost always with a renewed spirit. It's especially important for the black community because for years it was one of the only places outside of the church that we could fellowship. Here's today's Rooted segment. Sometimes you just need to let go and be free. Life is energy, it's life, it's connection. Sometimes you just need someone to share some of your deepest thoughts with. The thing about Flu Ellen is that nobody ever leaves. You're a client forever. Hey, Ms. Jenkins. Sure. Community. How are you today? I'm fine. Therapy. Laughter. Tell what you come up here for. You come up here to watch CNN, don't you? I watch CNN. <laughs> a sanctuary of sorts. But not in the way you might think. One without a pastor or even a reverend leading Sunday service. But still, someone women have confided in for decades. In what some might consider an unconventional therapy session. She is family. This, this is my family right here. This was taken in the 90s. 50 years sitting in these chairs at Fluella's Beauty Salon has been therapeutic for Cheryl Jenkins. That was when my hair was dark. It was naturally black. Today it's naturally gray. It's a feeling that resonates with many women when they sit in the chair. It was all very personal with her. She she cared about each person that sat in her chair. While the salon culture has changed over the years, the friendship and fellowship at Fluellen's and salons alike has remained the same. When she tell you to have a seat, and she touched your shoulder. You felt that. The black woman has always been, been a provider for her family. But when it comes to Saturday, that's her day. I've worked all week, and I want to get my hair fixed. I want to look good. That was only part of the reason why, for years, women waited for hours to get inside this salon. The cars would be around the corner, but you didn't care. Miss Fluellen would get to you. She had a way of making you feel, it's all right, the line's long, but I'll get with you. I've been doing her since 93, but she was a client of my mom's uh, before then. Her mother, the late Mary Fluellen, is the brainchild behind the business. I think what most people don't know is that my mom is from Winsboro, Louisiana. And in Winsboro, she picked cotton, and she became kind of a, a boss in the cotton field. Years later, that boss mentality would be necessary when she moved to Texas. Two months after she opened the salon, my father passed. As a recently widowed mother of five, Mary Fluellen started this salon in 1970. This after graduating from the Madam C.J. Walker Beauty College in Dallas. And if you know anything about Madam C.J. Walker's story, one of the first black woman millionaires in America, you'd understand why starting this salon went beyond the knowledge Mary obtained in beauty school. Motto, mantra became, building community builds business. Mary not only knew the importance of the black salon, but understood that her mission here was about more than here. She instilled those same values in Kay, who from a very young age watched her mother's business evolve. If it's a good stylist, not just Flo Ellen's, if it's a good stylist, your relationship transcends a business relationship. And in fact, you are family now. But these are some of the first Carolyn irons. From the tools used to the shampoo bowls, to the hair dryers, and even the welcome conversation. <laughs> I, I'm going to build her a profile on Tinder so I can find her boyfriend. A glimpse of what's exactly in her dangerous. future, maybe. Hey, you know, I'm on Tinder. You want to switch your swipe left or right? <laughs> <laughs> even the jokes serve as a reminder that history, black history, American history lives here. She always had kind words to say, and she always said something that you could, when you left here, you had something to think about and something that she said would help you. A testament to the value of this salon and to what stylists around the world bring. You see, the chair is more than a seat the mirror more than a reflection, and the hairstyle more than just the hair. The shop for so many 
is community, therapy, laughter. In Dallas, I'm Tashara Parker. I'll tell you this, I've seen that story uh, a few times uh, and it still just tugs at my heartstrings every time I see it. So thank you to the entire team who helped me put that together. This afternoon, Rooted is taking over the 4.30 p.m. newscast. You can watch it right here on WFAA or you can stream it online or on our website. We'll highlight some of our top hair stories and provide updates to the Crown Act as well as that what's ahead, pardon me, for this series. Mark, back over to you. Boy, you're right, Tashar. Excellent work by everybody.